Yo, yo, what's up design lifers? Welcome back to the channel. It's Jimmy and today I'm gonna to be talking about SolidWorks and KeyShot and how industrial designers use them. I'm actually not gonna be jumping into the programs, however, and showing you guys how they work. So if that's what you're looking for, please jump away from this video and go ahead and look up a SolidWorks tutorial. For this video, I'm gonna be actually showing you guys some of the work that I created at Cal State Long Beach. This is gonna be advanced SolidWorks, which is the second class that we had to take. There's only two classes. The one is introduction to SolidWorks and two is more advanced SolidWorks. The differences between the two is that advanced SolidWorks is now teaching us surfacing. Surfacing is a way for us to build things in SolidWorks to where it could be very organic. Give us very organic forms because typically you're gonna get some very straight walls, very geometric type of shapes. Along with SolidWorks, we're also gonna be using KeyShot. KeyShot is a rendering program. It's a separate program than SolidWorks. You build build your model, you build your 3D form in SolidWorks and you take that file and you import it into KeyShot to where you can now add lighting, add colors and materials in order to make your SolidWorks model actually look like a real life product, almost like a photograph in a way. So let's go ahead and jump into the very first project. So this is gonna be more of a simple project. It's actually not gonna require us to use surfacing. This is just to get us warmed up to using SolidWorks again. For our very first project here, we're supposed to design a bed, a side table, and some kind of a lamp. So this is my bed here. The idea that I wanted to do was to fold flat into itself. These legs here don't quite fold completely flat, but it, you know, that was my idea. And then here is my side table. This is just another very generic side table, but I wanted it to go along with the bed. You can kind of see the carryover of the aesthetics, the cutaways, the color materials that I chose for the bed and the side table. And here is my lamp. Again, it looks similar to the bed and the side table. When they're all placed together, they can actually look like a family of products. We'll then have a presentation where we will render them, print them out, and then post them on the board for critiques. My professor will tell us what kind of shots he's actually looking for. So he'll ask for like a front view hero shot, rear view hero shot, one shot of the lamp, one shot of the table, and then them all placed together in a context. So context meaning where is this product going to live? Therefore, it will be probably live in somebody's dorm, somebody's bedroom, of course. So here I placed the products in a room so that you can kind of see how it comes together and how it would actually be use on a daily basis. This project is actually not too exciting. It's the first project again, like I said, so I'm just gonna zip through this one real quick and move on to the second project. So the second project is actually a very difficult project. This is a project where we're supposed to design a toy. It's supposed to be a vinyl toy, so we could pick any character we wish. I ended up picking the Hulk. I don't know why I picked the Hulk, because it was so freaking hard to design this thing. So this is the very first project where we're actually using surfacing. Surfacing is like drawing lines and then connecting all these lines together to create a two-dimensional surface to where you can actually create very organic shapes, very round and curvy shapes. So that's how I achieved getting all of his muscles here. And if you take a look really closely at his hand, oh my gosh, I remember making this and it was so difficult to make this. So for this project here, my professor asked for the typical front hero shot, rear hero shot deliverables, and also another special thing thing is that since this is a toy, he wanted us to design the package for it. And so I designed this crazy hexagon, octagon type of packaging. I really did though go above and beyond trying to create his body, just creating all of these muscles. And it really did take a long time, especially it being my very first surfacing project. So this is actually gonna be my favorite project out of the four that I'm gonna show you guys. This is a pair of goggles and branded by Oakley. That's what I decided to brand them as. I always try to add some type of branding to my concepts whether I actually designed it for that brand or not. So for this project here, my professor made us do some kind of a color study where we're making it in different colors in order to see which one possibly could be the best looking one. My favorite one here was this orange color. Another deliverable we were supposed to provide my professor was a lifestyle shot. What, what was funny is that I found this photo on the internet and it just worked so well with the angle that I picked for these goggles. But then the guy that uh, is in this photo actually is a 
famous soccer player so I ended up just putting goggles on a soccer player which was actually pretty funny but the picture just worked so well I added some translucent plastics in order to create this blue color lens I made the bezel of the goggles uh, carbon fiber which I thought was cool and some pro tips for you guys that are actually using Keyshot currently is definitely try to go ahead and Photoshop your Keyshot renderings you don't have to just provide the straight Keyshot rendering to your professor or to the client you know you could take a little bit of time if you have it to add another layer of realism by throwing it in Photoshop playing around with the levels and the curves and trying to make it look really real you know I added this reflection here not in Keyshot but in Photoshop because I just had more control in Photoshop so let me know down in the comments guys if you're interested in knowing how I edit some of my Keyshot renderings to make them look extra real and allow them to pop just a little bit better than your competitors all right guys so let's go ahead and move on to the next project for the next project here we're supposed to design some kind of a vehicle could be any vehicle you want it can be a car it can be an airplane it can be a boat I decided to go ahead and design an FJ cruiser my favorite at that time was always an FJ cruiser I just loved FJ cruisers I built a whole toy model of an FJ cruiser all 3d printed and painted and sanded and it actually works the front wheels move left and right so I was a huge fan of FJ cruisers at the time and I still am so this here is a rendering of my FJ cruiser and so this was funny I ended up making this uh, shot where an FJ cruiser is pulling out this Hummer but now looking back this shot here is just so weird the Hummer looks out of proportion to the FJ cruiser the FJ cruiser just looks so much bigger than a Hummer which realistically isn't the case so Keyshot allows us to create these cool renderings but that's actually not the only thing it can do for this project here since it's the very last project of the class my professor actually taught us how to use animations in Keyshot animation is allowing you to create a small clip I created a little movie I made the wheels turn I made the car move so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that clip right now So that is SolidWorks, Keyshot, Photoshop, all in a nutshell. This is some of the work that I provided and these are some of the programs that industrial designers use, all hand in hand to provide these really cool renderings and animation videos. If you guys enjoy the video, please hit that thumbs up button. And also I can only fit so much in a single YouTube video. So I highly recommend you guys go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss any future videos. Leave me a comment down below if there's anything else you'd like like me to talk about for the next videos or if you just have a question for me please leave it down in the comments also the last thing I ask of you is please share these videos with anybody that you think can benefit from them it could be a classmate a friend or a co-worker thank you so much my name is Jimmy and I'll catch you in the next video peace <laughs>